As poker enthusiasts, obviously a deck of cards play a big role in our lives. You are no doubt pretty familiar with the deck of cards, but you may not have heard about a crazy alignment that the deck of cards has to our calendar. Now, whether it's a coincidence or intended, nobody knows, but I think it is pretty interesting and it serves as a nice reminder for me about our connection to nature. And we just celebrated Earth Day recently, but we should be celebrating our planet every day of the year. But let me explain said days of the year and their connection to the trusty deck of cards. Now stick with me here, okay? We know there are two primary colors. Perhaps they're representing night and day. We have four suits. Could they be a representation of our four seasons? There are 12 court cards and we obviously have 12 months in a year. And could the 13 values in a deck potentially represent the 13 lunar cycles in a year? And 52 cards in the deck is a pretty strong coincidence when we have 52 weeks in a year. But perhaps the most interesting is that if you add up all the values in a deck using the aces as one and the jacks, queens and kings as 11, 12 and 13 respectively, you arrive at a total of 364. Adding the first joker as another one gets you to 365, the same number there are days in a year, and adding the second joker gets you to 366, so we even have leap years covered. Now, when I first heard this, it kind of blew my mind. Whatever the intention behind the structure of the deck was when it was created, I choose to be fascinated by it, as I am about nature. And something my husband taught me many years ago, whenever he has a problem, perhaps if he's on tilt in a poker game, he imagines himself looking at that problem from the moon to give him some perspective. And so when I'm at the table, I remind myself of this potential coincidence that lays within the cards and it reminds me that we are a giant ball of stardust spinning around the sun with nights and days and seasons and cycles. Our planet is magic and we are part of it. And we need to always respect it and celebrate it not just on Earth Day, but every day. There are small changes that we can make in our everyday lives to help pull back on the pressures that we're putting on our environment. And the choices that I make are not just a drop in the ocean, but the ocean in an entire drop. And uh, that's the same for you.